Today, unboxing, we have the latest release to ship from Modifius for Fallout Wasteland Warfare, Unaligned T45 Power Armor. So I've been looking forward to these to start getting some more power armor for the uh, other factions, especially for the survivors. And so we've got a minigun, a super sledge, and a plasma rifle. Always happy to see the minigun. Uh, even if it's just the one variant, I quite like it on the T-45s. And anything, really. Akak -ak looks really good, so... Get the plastic off. And let's see what we have here. So these are all 40 millimeter. Uh, looks like just the two baggies. First one here is the minigun. We have the armor and head is separate. Gun is two hands. Excuse my cat in the background. Uh, and then the scenic base, we have a bit of corrugated metal bullet casing as it should have. So it looks pretty good. And here we have the plasma rifle. Little bit of flashing going along here. Um, have to trim off that piece. And then so we've got a eye beam and rubble. You can see this needs to be trimmed foot holes are there. There's no real pegging for it. And then the helmet separate. And then the super sledge. A little bit of porting on there, but that's good. That needs to be cleaned off and hidden anyway. The super sledge is two pieces. Bit of flashing to remove here and there, but nothing too terrible. And then the scenic base on this one. Got a couple skulls and some rocks. That's about it. But again, we have the foot indentions to know where to put that. So, really nice detail. You got the back pieces, all good. Got the tubes, the wires, uh, the release valve, all of that. So, let's get these together and see how they look. Alright, so here we have our work finished. A little bit of an injection hole there, take that off. So you can see here with the plasma gun, there's a bit of uh, flashing up on the neck piece I had to remove. So got a bit here and there to kind of take off, but I'm going to soak them first and get them cleaned off. Some of that may come off of just a toothbrush. Mr. Hammer here, you can see it's got a slight bend warp to the hammer. So I'll fix that with some warm water. Um, bigger concern is this mold line running here. So I'll have to take that off with a bit of knife work. So got some flashing in the gaps to get rid of. Uh, and then we come to our minigun here, looking very swanky. Only problem with him is I'm going to have to level off the filter part of the helmet here. It's a bit of a mold line that kind of then dips under the cable, so we'll just worry about that. But otherwise, this one had the least amount of flashing to worry about. All of the foot poses are very dynamic, you know, lifting up. Um, in some cases, for instance, this one even, you just have, you know, we've only got the balls of the toes connected, you know, definitely portraying some rapid movement here. Uh, despite this being a full indentation of the foot, only the front part of it is in contact with the base. So that's something to be aware of as a purposeful piece. If you try and lay it flat, this back foot won't align properly with the rock. Uh, but again, that's just giving it that 
illusion of momentum, especially when you're carrying a giant melee weapon in. Uh, on the hammer as well, there was a bit of mold issue here. You can still kind of see it. I'll do a bit more work with the knife to kind of take that off. But otherwise, you know, the usual modifious quality, nice soft resin. So I'll get these cleaned and added to the paint backlog. Uh, I have placed orders for the next two boxes of the Enclave set, so that's more um, Tesla armor and regular armor. So we will see, I think these took two and a half to three weeks to show up, so we'll see how long it takes for the new Enclave ones too.